Well hello then, I do hope you're all well. Now after a previous video where Nick Abbott of LBC went through our uncomfortable chair using vacuous Liz Truss's voting record, I did mention I might actually do something in the same vein but questioned whether it would be worth doing as to the amount of interest. Well the other day I was just browsing through Facebook to see what posts had been posted by the likes of News Thump or The Daily Mash to make me chuckle through the ridiculousness of our modern day authoritarian Brexit Tory government. But I also like to have a little read about friends and family's posts as well, see what they're up to and see if they're doing anything or going anywhere exciting. One of my friends posted something from a person on Twitter called Rob Moore who wrote, and I quote, Bradford Council bosses should hang their heads in shame. I have no confidence children's services will ever be fit for purpose under its current leadership. I'm afraid, in my view, that council leader Susan Hinchcliffe and chief executive Kirsten England must resign. Now, clearly, this tweet was a dig at Labour councillors after the horrendous murder of Star Hobson, who was murdered in Keighley by her mother's partner. Well, my first reaction was, who the hell is Rob Moore? But after a little digging, it turns out he's the Conservative MP for Keithley and Ilkley, and it also says on his Twitter page, he is working hard to level up and deliver positive change and even managed to fit in the usual patriotic union flag between his hard-working, levelling-up agenda as well. So, being someone who has very little time for what people say, but being more interested in what they do, I decided to have a little look on his voting record since he was voted in on the wave of our self-entitled Etonian prick Alexander Boris de Peffel Johnson's world-beating, get Brexit done manifesto, so world-beating it was, that you just need to pop it in the microwave after it's been in the oven in 2019. Well, our doughty defender for the downtrodden decided on the 8th of January 2020 he voted to remove the requirement of ministers to seek to negotiate an agreement with the EU to enable unaccompanied child refugees to join their relatives. And on the 22nd of January 2020, Robin Moore voted against requiring ministers to seek to renegotiate with the EU to allow unaccompanied children seeking asylum to join their relatives by moving from the UK to the EU or vice versa and instead voted to require the government to set out its policy on this subject. And also, on the 30th of June 2020, Robbie Moore voted to remove rights for unaccompanied asylum-seeking children, spouses, vulnerable adults and dependent adults to join a family member who is legally present in the United Kingdom. Wow, what a charmer, eh? But all you fanatical extreme Brexit Tory fans will be saying, but DB, we should look after our own first. Yeah, that old chestnut we hear from the All Lives Matter Brigade. But Tony Benn once said, the way a government treats refugees is very instructive because it shows you how they would treat the rest of us if they thought they could get away with it. Well, our prize fighter for the most vulnerable said in his last tweet that what happened to Star Hobson in Keithley is horrendous, vile and sickening. Today I raised the case directly with the Prime Minister. I made it clear I want the government to take control of these services until they are sweeping and widespread reforms to protect children. Like I've said before, talk is cheap and what you do is more important than what you say. So no doubt our shining light within the face-eating nasty party has been shouting from the rooftops demanding that this incredibly important public service and other public services to be properly funded. Um, no. On the 25th of February 2020, our Robbie Moore voted not to call for the proper funding of public services after a decade of austerity and here's the kicker nor for robust action to tackle tax avoidance and evasion. Now there's a man who's making a difference. The thing is, I worked for the Bradford Council for 30 years. I had to finish on an incapability due to the fact that I was unable to continue my daily duties due to an emergency spinal operation in 2017. But from 2010 onwards, without fail, every year, we would be brought in for a meeting, told that due to the fact that the council was receiving less funding from central government than what they got last year, cutbacks were going to be made. On many occasions I had been dragged into the office, told that 
that contract that you'd signed whenever it was I'd signed it was going to be ripped up. I'll be getting a new contract on less money, of course, but for the same hours and on the odd occasions, more hours and more responsibilities. And if you don't like it, you know where the fucking door is. So take it or leave it. And when I had to leave in 2017, did the cleansing division where I worked replace me to do my daily duties? No, they had to spread it out between an already overstretched, overworked and underpaid workforce. Now I bumped into a friend who still works there and he told me now there there's probably about 20 cleansing staff who are supposed to clean the streets of Bradford and they are so down to the bone that they are only prioritising main roads and side roads. They only deal with estates only when they receive a complaint. So if this is what's happening to the cleansing division of public services, can you imagine what it's like within the children's services? Doesn't even bear thinking about it, does it? If you want a public service that works properly, you fund it properly. And I think our Robbie Moore, our Conservative MP for Keithley and Ilkley, knows it. But did our brave patriot, in his determination to level up and to make a difference, did he stand tall, proud, and vote for the motion to extend free school meals for poor, hungry, starving children that Marcus Rashford had campaigned for? Did he stand with his right honourable friends within the face-eating nasty party whose conscience was pricked and thought, my constituents aren't going to go for this, you know, like Caroline Ansel, Robert Halfen, Jason McCartney, Anne-Marie Morris, Holly Munbecroft. Give credit where credit is due. Um, no. Like the rest of the face-eating nasty party, he fell into line, did as he was told, and voted against a motion to feed hungry children within his own constituents. A true patriot who's working hard to make a difference to levelling up her. I have a few questions for you, Robbie Moore, Conservative MP for Keith Lynn Ilkley. How can you level up when you voted not to properly fund public services after 11 years of Tory austerity? How are you making a difference when you voted not to extend free school meals for the poorest children in our society? How is that levelling up? But my main question is, Robbie Moore, Conservative MP for Keith Lynn clears why are you a hypocrite? Why are you not doing what you are saying? How can you say you are working hard to make a difference, to level up, when your voting record tells a different story? Or am I missing something? Now, I know this video won't get much traction or views, but to me, that's not the point. For me, this is therapy. After I read that tweet, looking into our Robbie Moore's voting record, I got to a point where 24 hours later, I was fit to burst and needed to get it off my chest before I lost my rag because his hypocrisy got my dander up. There's a few pet hates I have. Racism, xenophobia, homophobia and any type of behaviour that attacks easy targets and another is hypocrisy. A Robbie Moore's hypocrisy and political point scoring in my view is the lowest of the low. Using the death of a child to attack councillors just because they are from the opposite party is incredibly low. So Robbie Moore, Conservative MP for Keithley and Ilkley, I think will probably go incredibly far in the face-eating party clearly. Now when the investigation is done, I have no doubt that those who, if any, had, who had let down Star Hobson in the children's services should be rightfully criticised, lose their jobs and should hang their heads in shame. And I have no doubt that they will have to live their conscience for the rest of their lives. But Robbie Moore, Conservative MP for Keith Lee Ilkley, judging by your voting record, you certainly don't have the moral high ground to criticise others when you are clearly not practising what you are preaching. And if I'm honest... Clearly, you should also hang your head in shame. And I also think you should resign too. Right, rant over. And if I'm honest, I'm feeling much, much better now. I shall leave the video here and I do hope you all have a wonderful weekend. And until the next time, I shall bid you farewell and take care.